Hi, Carol Fay. How you doing? Um, yeah, I I get the same thing out of this. I just want to mention this is kind of unrelated, but I teach classes in sustainability, and um, this that boy when you take your sustainability class, you'll remember this right now, and you'll remember your instructor saying it'll turn your head, um, and then it looks like it already has here based on your comment. It forced me to think about what people throw away and how we throw it away. So. Food for thought. Anyways, so I got your sketches up. Where are they here? I think it's really an interesting approach because you've got this wonderful movement. Like this guy looks like he's about to purge. I, I, he does, man. He looks like he's just ready to throw up, which is awesome. I mean, it's such a cool idea. Instead of just having a garbage guy, you know, guy made out of garbage standing there, why don't you have him ready to hurl? It's a great idea. I love it. So. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Now let's move to the next guy here. And again, we see this wonderful movement. Um, it, this guy's kind of more just kind of looking into the into the the camera, so to speak. And 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 we get that a lot. If you think about it, if you look through the sketches, um, you'll see a lot of students. The first initial um, the inclination is to say, "Okay, here's a guy, arms spread, legs spread, looking into the camera." So we see that quite a bit. And I think that we need to get away from that and start thinking about this guy moving in a way that's going to really orchestrate with a background, so to speak. So we don't want him looking like he's pasted on a background. Um, and, and I'll show you some examples in a second. So, you know, love it, man. Love it. Question, though. I'm really got to really, really contemplate this one, okay? Where are you going to get the face? Corn kernel teeth. Got it. Okay. Where are you going to get the eyes? You don't just as long as you know you have to build the eyes out of out of some sort of garbage, which shouldn't be too difficult at all. But see, because a lot of students get to this point, and then um, you know, in the third week or so, when it's time to to start putting it together, they they'll put these vector drawn eyes on this beautiful raster morphed composite. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to keep that in mind now. All right, but that's another really awesome, cool approach. And as is this, I think this one's not going to work because of the frail little body and the little tiny stick arms. And that this, the once you get this into a background, you're going to realize that it's the background. You really have to get some, you know, you can't have these little dainty fingers because they might just get lost in the background. I think that's going to happen with your body, and with your little spring arm and your little matchstick arm. Okay, so. Uh, I'm. I love this one. I, I love the idea. If you can, if you can pull that off, getting this guy ready, <laughs> ready to kind of hurl. Um, I think that's an approach we have not seen yet, and I teach this class a lot, so I think that's a winner. All right. Um. Good job. Um. Any questions at all? Please just give me a holler. Thanks.